Do you have a job? And does it make you feel like this? Or like this? I don't want to go to work! Shit! Or like this? Every Monday, I am a child! I don't want to work! So it seems like on social media, a lot of people hate their job. And I'll say it, like I remember being there. When I graduated with a degree in civil engineering, I thought my life was planned out. I thought I was, I made it. I, I can now officially live the American dream. Worked my ass off in college for five years to get my degree, got my big boy job. Once I landed that corporate job, I went there the first week. The first week I got into my job, I looked around, I'm like, what the hell did I do? I knew right away it was not for me, and I knew right away I couldn't do that for the next 40 years. Now I say that, I say that about how it's very typical. Like if you are the person that hates your job, it's, it's unfortunately very normal, very normal. Most people don't really like what they do. I mean, there are some people out there who genuinely love their jobs, but if you're not on that side of the fence and you hate your job, I wanna say, wait a second, although you hate that job, it may not be as bad as you think. Let's talk about it. Do not leave your job right now. I don't know if they told y'all, but it's crazy out here. I quit my job a few months back, not because I necessarily wanted to, I was just put in a difficult position where I had to, and it took me so long to find another job. I'm a very qualified person. I got a degree, I got experience. Every job I applied for, I was either qualified for or overly qualified. There's really not a reason a person like me in 2024 shouldn't have been able to find a job for that long. It's treacherous out here. I'm not an economist, I'm not a politician, I'm not a financial advisor, whatever you wanna call it, but I think it's a lot worse than they telling us right now. Like I think the job market, the financial shit, it's not, our economy is not well right now. It's affecting jobs, it's affecting whether people are hiring or not. And it's tough out here. Like there might, there may have been a time where you could quit your job and find another one the same week because you just, you just have it like that. Like you got the experience, you got the qualifications. You've never been without a job. This might not be that time. Don't quit. Cause you may, <laughs> you may be out of work for a while. You may really set yourself back a lot more than you even know. Like you may be walking into something very unexpected and very surprising you spiritual and you feel like God is calling you to do it, I'm not saying don't listen to God. What I'm saying is don't just take it upon yourself to just be like, I'm going to quit because I'm mad or I don't want to work there no more or they getting on my nerves. I'm going to just go find another job because you might not just find another job as quickly as you're used to finding another job. That's all I'm saying. I agree, guys. Three years ago, eight years ago, ten years ago, it may have been a little different. It may have been where if you were at a job, you didn't like it, you could quit. Turn around, get another job within a couple weeks. It was like that. Economy was great. Everyone's doing pretty well. And yeah, it was relatively easy to quit a job and go get another one. Well, in 2024, times are a little bit different. The economy, looking a little shaky. We're not looking too hot right now. Feds, starting to cut rates. Unemployment is on the rise. Prices compared to wages are still super high. With it being tough to live right now already, quitting your job, may not be the best decision. If you're out there right now, you're watching this video and you have a job, consider yourself lucky. Yes, it may not be the best paying job or it may not be the most rewarding job, but at least you have a paycheck coming in. At least you have money coming in every single month. Although some of you say you may not be able to pay your bills with that paycheck, at least you have something coming in. Imagine if you had nothing coming in, where would you be at? We did a live stream last week and I talked about how long could you make it if you lost your job tomorrow. Think about that for a second. How long could you make it, you and your family, if your income stopped tomorrow? Is it a day? Is it a week? Is it a month? Is it a year? You know, deep down you know if right now your income stopped, how are you set up? Do you have cash set aside for an emergency fund in case times like that come up? where you lose your job and you have no income, 
well, hey, this emergency fund over here, now you got some cash set aside to live off of until you can go find another job. Which right now with the job market, unemployment continuing to rise. So if you have a job right now, you need to be utilizing that income and doing the best plan you can moving forward. Meaning you need to be paying off your debts. You need to be stocking extra cash away in an emergency fund in case we see a upcoming recession or worse, another great depression. As I've talked about in a lot of my videos, times aren't looking good. So feel blessed right now if you have income coming in and make sure you're utilizing that income as best as you can and get yourself set up financially in case something does bad happen in the very near future. If you haven't got anything going for you, but you have a job, don't quit your job. Whether you hate it or not, it's like, man, that's what you're hanging on to the edge of the world with your fingertips, you know? Don't let go. Oh, if you can find a better job, okay, fine. But you don't just quit, because then what? You're done. Why don't you just try to work as hard as you can at your damn job for like six weeks, right? All flat out. You know, if you work 10% longer hours, you make 40% more money. That's something worth thinking about. You know, you've got a job, maybe you show up 15 minutes early and you leave 15 minutes late. You know, and you actually work and your boss notices because he would probably notice and then maybe someone's gonna get promoted and maybe it'll be you because something's gonna tilt the scales and that little extra bit of work done without cynicism and resentment might be enough. Well, he said he started at 21 bucks an hour and in six weeks he was making $37 an hour. Imagine that for a second, guys. That's so good, what Jordan Peterson's saying. Let's say you're at a crappy job right now, right? And it's maybe not exactly what you want, or it's not the most rewarding or the most fulfilling. What if you sat there right now and you told yourself, for the next six weeks, I'm going to work my mother bleeping ass off. <laughs> Let's say the next six weeks. Make this a challenge to yourself today. And then I'm curious on what the following six weeks will look like. Comment down below if you want to do this. If you think you can set six weeks aside and work your complete ass off, show it 15 minutes early and stay 15 minutes later or longer if you think that's deemed necessary. And then I want to know six weeks from now what that looks like in the next comment section. I'll try to remember to do another job market type video and ever hopefully at least one person will comment and say what happened over their six week journey of every single day showing up and working hard because let's be honest guys I remember working in corporate America I remember working in construction and there was a lot of times where you're slacking off you know maybe you get a lot of work done in the morning for the first couple hours and then the next five six hours you're scrolling through TikTok or you know doing whatever the hell you do nowadays I mean or maybe you're taking a few extra dumps <laughs> during the day during the hours I don't know what you're doing but let's think about it you say you spend every single hour of those eight hours you're working every day to really, really kick ass. I mean, get ahead. And to where your boss turns around, he's like, whoa, something's something's different here. I challenge you to try that. Try to wake up every day, go into work. I know some mornings it sucks. I know I get it. But I really want to do this as an experiment with the viewers of you guys. Like I want you to try and the next six weeks, do as much as you can Show up early, leave late, and work the full eight hours and see what happens in your professional life. If you have a job that you hate and it's because of the people that you're working with, then you really need to move on. You don't need this discouragement. But if it's the job itself that is boring, consider this. Every one of us was born with a purpose. Generally speaking, we are born to make God's world into a beautiful garden. If your job is productive, you're producing something, you're offering a service. And because of that, many people will have an easier, better, more comfortable life. Then you are serving God at your job, not just making money. There's a divine purpose to it that you should take pride in and pleasure in. So no job is simply a menial task just to get some dollars in exchange. Everything you produce, every product, every service, every improvement to God's world is the service of God. So wake up in the morning before you go to work and say, God, I am going to serve your purpose today. I'm going to work. Mm. That was good. That was very good. Now, I'll say this. Like he mentioned, if you're working in a super toxic environment, 
and you need to get out, you need to quit your job, instead of challenging yourself, like I just mentioned, with the six weeks of working your tail off, what you need to do is work your tail off and finding another job. If toxicity is what's going on in your workplace and you are literally struggling every single day to go in and it's mentally messing with you, then maybe it's time to find something else. But do not leave that job until you have a for sure game plan of where you're gonna go once you quit. Because worst case scenario, you think you have, a, this happened to my wife, you think you have another job, you quit the job and then they, they pull your employment before you start at the new job. That's happened to my wife before and it sucks. So you need to make sure if you are gonna leave that you actually have something set up. But then when it comes to the job you have now, like maybe it's not toxic, maybe you just, maybe just sometimes like, I get it guys, like sometimes work sucks. It, do, it does, like let's be honest, sometimes not many people are right, waking up every single day excited to go to work. Like you'd rather be watching a Netflix show, hanging out with your family, you know, doing a barbecue, like I get it. But like, also we have to have income to make the world go round. So why, why not try to enjoy the work you're doing? Like he said, try to find purpose in what you're doing. You know, if, if, if you're a, a boss at, at cooking cheeseburgers, be the best cheeseburger cooker, barbecue, whatever you're doing. If you're flipping burgers at McDonald's, at Wendy's, be the best one that you can be there. Serve that best burger. Make sure that customer knows every time they come in there, they're gonna get a good cooked burger. If you do what I was doing, whenever I was working in consulting and engineering, I was working on high voltage power lines. Let's say randomly we got someone watching that who's in the transmission line business like I used to be. Be the best consulting engineer you can be when you're working on that design project. Be the best. Go in every single day knowing that you have purpose in what you're doing. There's purpose in the work you're doing. See, when you change your mindset like that, and it's instead of going into work saying, oh, I hate this, woe is me, my job sucks, go in with purpose, and maybe you do hate the job. Go in working hard every single day and trying to think of a game plan of what's next in life. Because this all kind of comes together. We all need an income, right? We all need an income to get by. So you don't wanna go out and just quit your job because you don't like it. Like you need that income. But what I'm saying here is find a way to work your butt off at your job. And maybe when you find, when you do that, it ends up being better than what it is now. Could be, could not. And if not, if you still hate it after six weeks, work your butt off to figure out what's next. I mean, ultimately it's up to you guys. I say this in almost every video, your life is up to you. There's no one that's gonna make the decision for you. Like you're a big boy, big girl figure out what you wanna do and go after it. Don't just settle. Keep your day job to keep that money coming in. But if you truly have a purpose in something else, like you think you were put on this earth to do something different, work towards getting to that. If it's having a different job at a different company, but doing what you're doing now, work towards getting in on that company. Go look people up on LinkedIn and, and message them. Say, hey, can I, can I buy you a cup of coffee? Can I grab you out to lunch? Can I go grab you a beer? Would love to have the opportunity to talk to you. Like do, do the extra that not many people do. He, here's the thing guys, the barrier to entry to be a, a very successful human and to go that extra mile is is actually pretty, pretty low. It is. The more I get around people and the more I see what people are doing in their everyday life, not many people take it that extra step. Not many people will pick up the phone and make that awkward call to try to get ahead and meet the right person. Not many people are willing to do that. But if you are the one to do that, you're setting yourself that much farther ahead to not only become successful, but to set yourself up to live the life that you truly want to live. So let me know what you think. This is your motivation to, to keep the job, to keep the income coming in, to get your finances in order. But also, if you truly know it's not what you wanna do the rest of your life, while you're doing that, simultaneously, be working towards your future. Be researching what you're gonna do next what the next game plan is in your career. Six weeks, guys. Do it. Work your ass off for six weeks. See what happens.